You know, on the same day, I was uh, I did a pre-recording where I was speaking at Juanita Jackson. I see her. She made a comment saying hello, um, spoke at her event as well. And that was awesome. She said it turned out to be terrific. And um, maybe when she does this again, we can get her on so she can talk about her event. All right. Absolutely. So uh, let's get to the industry stuff. Um, eh, it's not that bad. No, it's not bad. Sales are down because. Yeah. Well, because let's see. I think people are done there. I, I, there's gosh, there's so many reasons. Why do you think they're down? I, mortgage applications are down because there's limited inventory and the people there's people that want to buy. They're just getting frustrated because they can't find, can't find out what they, they don't want. want to get into the bidding wars. Well, and I think prices have gone up too high for you, people. They're you, finally getting smart. They are bill because we've got houses that are sit they're out there, but they're sitting on the market longer. Well, they're then cooling. Their price too high. Well, that's exactly right. So I think, I think, you know, everybody was seeing it. They're buying like crazy. So they're pushing the limits on what they're yeah. <clears throat> put, putting out there. So, so it's just cooling off a little. And again, it depends on uh, location. Real estate is local. Yeah. And it just depends on where you are. I've, I've got several neighbors that have been there for 20 years or more, and they sold their, their houses in a week. They're yeah. all closing this week. Yeah. Um, uh, that said, if you don't have a place to go, you're not putting your house up for sale. Yeah, either. that's true too. So I got this off of a housing market update. This The source is from Redfin, um, which many of you heard it. So the housing market is showing some cooling trends. Um, it said home sales with a price with a price drop increased to four percent for the first time since September. So what that means is that houses that were on the market, they increased their price. The four four percent of are now decreasing their prices. <clears throat> Pending sales are down eleven percent from the 20, 2021 peak. Asking prices have been flat since May. Now that's yeah. not really happening around the Southeast. It's because, you, you know, there are bigger cities that they take all this stuff from and it's really national that they do it, but we always follow suit. Don't we? Here, here's the thing. It has to get normal. at if, some point. If you're, <laughs> if your bad news is that um, asking prices are flat, <laughs> that's awful, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you go back a few years to the, uh, single digits, 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get into 2010 through 2012. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're happy to see this. Well, it, I, it has to slow down a little bit because it's got to normalize a bit. But absolutely. The, but the bad news is still good news. Yeah. It's, I mean, gosh, if the bad news is that bad, um, what's the good news? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's really, really, uh, you know, real estate is still the greatest investment you can make. Yeah. It's still a great time to buy and sell property. It's a great time to be an investor. Um, one of the things that I think we, we all need to remember is that even in 2008, when everything was about as ugly as it could possibly get, people were still buying and selling property. Sure. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's all relative to, to what's going on around you. Yeah, and I'll give you an uh, example of my, the first home that I bought. Uh, Jimmy Carter was president, my <laughs> FHA mortgage rate. Dang, you're four. old. <laughs> I was 19. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I bought very young, but um, I, again, interest rates had gone up to 18% after that. Right. So I still got it on the lower end. It wasn't the peak then either. Yeah. Um, that said, I qualified for state bond money to help me with my purchase. Cause again, I was 19 years old. I was just out of school and uh, working in my chosen at the time field. Right. <laughs> and they subsidized your uh, interest rate, right. not your down payment. Right. Because rates are so low now, they try to subsidize your down payment. Right. Back then rates were so high, they tried to subsidize your rate, which was work out great. So my actual rate, was seven and a quarter and investors were still alive and well then because mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't in my house a week and, and I'm getting bombarded with mailers from all these investors wanting to uh, buy my house. Cause it was assimilable. It was a non-qualifying right? FHA yeah. <laughs> assumption, 
which meant all they had to do is give me cash down and they'd take over yeah, my payments. Yeah, those were the good old days. And when I had a seven and a <laughs> half or a seven and a quarter and everybody else was at 14 and a half. Oh, yeah. It, it was just piling on. So there was plenty of people still investing. Absolutely. In. And then at the same time, there were plenty of sellers that were willing to do seller financing yeah. at a lower rate to sell their homes. Yeah. Homes still were bought and sold even during. Well, you know, we've got the moratoriums being lifted too on evictions and foreclosures. So I think we're going to see many more houses flooding into the market. I'm trying to remember who it was that said, um, because that's going to flood into the market, they believe that it won't matter because all of these big hedge funds are going to buy them up anyway. Well, that's what I was going to say. Um, it, it doesn't, there's not going to be a flood. And even if there is a flood, it's not going to make a dent. In prices because so we don't have to start lining up two by two and getting on a boat from yeah, it. <laughs> no inventory is still going to be low because hedge funds are buying up these houses just like they had been before and yeah. they're paying more for them than they should yeah. so they're going to bid up the prices at all yeah yeah we'll see what happens it sure worked for them the last yeah uh go the last around time that they did, did that absolutely it sure did